Hi everybody, it's Pat and Jill here from the Spice Bazaar Cooking School through our YouTube channel, Taste the World. Today, we're in Mexico. We'll be doing three dishes for you. One is a Mexican achiote pork with pineapple. We'll be doing some steamed corn with cheeses and chili. And we'll be doing a beautiful, fresh, roasted red capsicum salad with lime and coriander. We're going to start with the achiote pork dish. And the, one of the stars of the shows are these chilies. So these are South American chilies. Um, and this one is an ancho chili, um, which we're going to cut open. Now the ancho chili has uh, amazing smoky licorice type flavors. So it's something that um, is delightful. And we're just taking out the seeds and I'm just gonna actually soak these in water. So we've got some boiling water into there. And we're gonna do the same with this chili, which is the Guajillo chili. These are the two common most uh, chilies in South America. And this one in particular um, has kind of sweet berry type flavors. So it complements the other one, which is a mild to medium heat. So I'm just gonna pop them into some boiling water now just for about one to two minutes. The marinade features annatto seeds, which is a key ingredient uh, in the annatto paste, which has a berry, sort of chili-like flavor and it's a natural color. So this is an achiote powder that's been pre-mixed. So we're gonna pop a number of ingredients into a stick blender. Okay, so we've just pulled the chilies off the heat and now we're going to roughly dice them before we process them. The smells, the aromas are amazing here with the sort of licorice and spicy and sweet aromas. Okay, now we're going to use a stick blender to process this marinade. Now it's time to skewer the pork with the pineapple and then we're going to place it in a bowl and put the marinade on it. Next is to prepare the corn dish. So we're gonna start with the corn itself. And what we're going to do is just peel back these leaves. You probably need um, as many of the leaves as possible. These will be blanched in boiling water for about one to two minutes and then refreshed in cold water before being used to actually wrap the beautiful um, filling that we're going to make very, very shortly. And now we're going to make a filling with the cheese and other ingredients and grate the corn and then wrap it in these refreshed husks. We're going to start with the grating of the, the corn. We'll add the butter to a pan. The butter starts to melt, we're going to add in the onions. And after that, we're going to cook that for around three to five minutes until they're soft. And then we're going to add in the corn. And once the corn cooks and thickens, we're going to add in the milk and cook it again until that's thick. And then we uh, take it off the heat and we'll add in the cheeses. Okay, the corn now is quite thick. You can see there, we're gonna transfer that into a bowl before we mix in the cheeses. And now it's time to wrap the filling in the corn husks. So I'm gonna create a cross structure here. I'm gonna get a good spoon into this mixture. Pop it right in the middle there. I'm gonna top it with a bit of this extra cheese. So I've got the mix of um, Bocconcini and tasty cheese, an aged one. Resembles the um, Asadero cheese from, from uh, Mexico. I'm now going to wrap these over like this, 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 and then this. So that's all that's gone over. And next is to put some string on it. Now it's time to steam our little corn parcels. We have a steamer here and we have a cartouche. The purpose of that is to make sure any filling ingredients 
um, don't seep down into the water. And now it's time to assemble our roasted red capsicum salad. So this salad features uh, red capsicums which have been roasted in a burning hot oven for around about 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, then they're allowed to steam and then they just peel back very, very easily like this. Just before we finish the salad, we would love you to subscribe to our channel if you're enjoying this kind of uh, recipes and fun that we're doing and there's a lot more there. So just uh, subscribe and click the little bell icon so that you get notified of uh, new releases as they come out. Okay, now that the red capsicums are all prepared, we're going to just assemble our salad. So I'm putting in about, oh, around about two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to pump in some garlic, very thinly sliced, a bit of red onion going in there. And then the red capsicums, these are like kind of like in a ribbon shape. So that's really quite a, quite a funky way to present it. And it's just going to toss that through there. Okay. Our humitas, the corn parcels, should be now ready. Oh, look at that. That was beautiful and soft. And now it's time to cook our marinated achiote pork and pineapple skewers. Put some oil onto our hot griddle. This is beautiful on coals. If you have coals, this is ideal. But uh, we don't in the cooking school. Now the Achiodi pork skewers are cooked. Oh. Have a look at those pieces of joy. Just going to plate them up. Um, and then I'm going to add just a little bit of lime to that. All right, we've plated it up. Have a look at that. So we've got the, um, the corn. We're gonna actually start with a little bit of the corn. Let's try that first. It's delicious. It's sort of sweet, creamy. It's still got corn texture. A little tiny bit of chili in there just gives it some warmth and, oh, it's delicious. Now, some of the pork. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of everything. Just put some avocado on there as well. And we've made some Maza Harina tortillas, which is corn flour. So perfect if you're gluten intolerant. A bit of that. A little bit of the, the salad too. Just a bit of that on the side there. Let's try it. Mmm. Beautiful smoky licorice flavours coming out of those chilies. You've got nice acidity through the lime and the onion and garlic. Adds a bit of bite and the creaminess of that avocado rounds it all out. Oh man, that is just gorgeous. I have to go in for a second one. Tell you what, that is definitely, without a doubt, something I can eat a lot of. Something I can eat a lot of. Something I can eat a lot of. 